Recently, I posted a video on fake money-making methods. Check it out if you haven't, there is some pretty surprising stuff there. But essentially, I just proved a whole bunch of money-making methods as fake and slow. That got me thinking, what are the real best money-making methods of Skyblock? So, for early, mid, late game players, I will cover the best money-making methods. I use the term best loosely since it can change, and these methods are just what I know have worked for a while, and I know can make you good money. Anyways, let's start after I tell you about the- wait, wait, no. Seriously, don't skip. We're about to hit 1000 subscribers, and that means I'll get monetized. I plan to do a big giveaway at 1000 subs, so subscribe, seriously. I love you want, and it's a big dream of mine. So please help me make my dream come true, and subscribe. The Dwarven Mines is the best place to go early game. You get a lot of good starting gear, plus some pretty good money making methods are available to you. Glacite farming is the first money making method in the video, and it's so easy to do that on a new profile you could easily one shot the mobs. You are farming them for their drops, and you can either use or sell them on AH for good profits. But alongside Glacite farming, you can also participate in Jacob's contests using the hub to farm. You want to participate in wheat ones since it's pretty easy to get a bronze or silver. This strat does work because we used it in Sweet Booty's mega farming cult video, if you've seen that. You'll make your money from the Jacob's tickets and turbo books that can be sold on Bazaar and AH respectively. So, if you're keeping an eye on your calendar and doing some grinding in the Dwarven Mines, you can make some pretty good profits early game. And as a side note, I wouldn't heavily focus on getting money this early in the game, I'd just try to progress. But, you're gonna need to grind since you're about to come up on mid game. First up is Sludge Mining. There's a reason that I recommend this method to everyone whenever they ask. It's easy to do and gives another good drop that I'll discuss in a second. To do this, you'll need the Heart of the Mountain 3, access to the Crystal Hollows, a jungle pickaxe, and 1500 mining speed with said pick. Plus, you can put Compact on your pick to get Enchanted Hearthstone while you mine. By mining around the jungle, you'll be generating sludge juice whilst you mine. But what's that other good drop I talked about? It's these treasure chests, and they are crazy. They'll passively spawn based on your Great Explorer perk. When they are opened, you'll get free gemstone and mithril powder that can be put back into your perks to upgrade them. If you're going to be sludge mining, these are the perks that matter. An easier alternative to this is farming cocoa. It's semi-AFK, and if you have farming 25, an elephant pet, cocoa chopper, and a personal compactor, you can pretty easily semi-AFK 2.5 to 4.5 million per hour. By turning your enchanted cocoa beans into enchanted cookies and then replenish books, you can sell them on AH for some very nice profit. Plus they also sell pretty fast since they're kind of needed for farming. Going back to the crystal hollows, fishing takes the spotlight. It might be hard, but finding a warm fishing spot and then fishing there can net you some very high profits from fishing. All you need to do is mine around until you find lava above a certain Y level. You need fishing 19 along with having shark armor and any decent rod to actually fish up flaming worms and make profit from them. You will sell the worm membranes at Bazaar for coins, and they sell for quite a lot. It's a very good money making method to do. Certainly a little bit harder than the other two in this part, but if you can do it you will make some pretty crazy coins for mid game. Late game is the final stage on Skyblock that we'll be covering in today's video. And I'm going to start with a method I doubt you guys would have expected, Ghost Grinding. For those of you who don't know, after the nether update, Ghost AI was changed, or most likely bugged, to have an absolutely tiny aggro range. This means it's way harder to kill a lot of them at once. But meleeing Ghost still works, although you will need some pretty strong items to survive, like a tier 6 or 7 giant sword, you can't use one for all because you need healing from it a Warden's Helmet, a Necron, and a level 100 Mithril Golem. And you also need to be dealing 250,000 damage per hit with all of these items. Now just run around killing ghosts. If you still find yourself struggling with healing, try using a Wand of Atonement since it gives you some pretty good passive healing. You will also make similar money to pre-Crimson Isles rates due to sorrow chestplate prices spiking for needing them for Blaze Slayer and luck on your sword making sorrows more common. 
you can still expect rates of around 10 to 12 million per hour, although you will make less combat XP now. For the first time, let's go to the catacombs to run some dungeons, and this can give you a lot of profit. The floor you should run is very dependent on your gear, and since I'm not a big dungeons guy, I won't tell you exactly what gear and cata level is required for each floor. So here's a quick infographic. It'll tell you each floor that you can run and what profit will be from. If you get a dungeons party together that isn't from the party finder, use kismets and get pretty fast runs, you're going to make some serious profit from dungeons. The last money making method in this video is yet again going to be on one of the mining islands. Gemstone mining has always been consistently the best way to make an insane amount of money. To make profit, you need at least 3 million powder in both gemstone and mithril, max demands, a max gemstone gauntlet, and either a bow or armadillo. If you are just normally mining, you can expect to make rates of at least 15 million per hour or more. Or if you're mining during coal, you can expect 30 million hour or way more. So if you have the time to powder grind and the money to buy demands, do it. It's crazy good. To make the most money, you're going to either want to use your armadillo on Jasper, Jade or Sapphire, or use your bow on Ruby. All of these money making methods are fairly well known and have had consistent markets for a long time. So unless there's a crazy meta shift, they will stay good and give you lots of money. So you should 100% do them. Also, I've left out any money making methods from the Crimson Isles due to it being a new update, so it's likely that prices will fall off in the near future. But I also want to remind you to hit that subscribe button. And I also want to know what money making methods you guys use and any other questions that you may have for me. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.